As part of efforts to investigate case number 29 of COVID-19 and contact tracing, the Ministry of Health will be undertaking the necessary interventions in communities, including assessments and health education. Director at the Bureau of Health Education, Natasha Lloyd-Felix, explains. In response to the diagnosis of the 29th COVID case in St. Lucia, which happened this past weekend, it was imperative that the ministry took immediate action and focused on communities of concern. And as a result of that, a public health team was put together to do a number of interventions simultaneously. So amongst that would have been inviting persons who deem themselves to be at risk in terms of this case and the wider community to come forward for testing. We also use this as an opportunity to reinforce the prevention and control measures to reduce risk of being exposed to COVID. So that include doing health education on mask use, distribution of the mask, as well as importance of hand washing and other infection control measures. This was done in the communities themselves because we wanted it to be accessible to the population. We know sometimes it's difficult for persons to access services within our wellness centers. It's sometimes inconvenient as well. So by us going into those communities, we brought the services directly to the community. The Ministry of Health is meeting with residents of Orion at the Paradise Inn in Orion Denry for assessment and testing for COVID-19. Over the past week, we have targeted a number of communities in St. Lucia to conduct interventions, which would allow for quicker uptake of persons for testing. Today, Thursday, October 15th, and tomorrow, Friday, October 16th, We'll be in the Olior community in Denry from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Paradise Inn where we will be doing COVID testing as well as health education on infection prevention and control measures for COVID-19. This is open to the community. Anyone who is interested is invited to come forward, benefit from this opportunity as we'll be bringing those services directly into the community. That was Director at the Bureau of Health Education, Natasha Lloyd-Felix.